Well, Philadelphia is kicking off an exciting public arts project. Dozens of temporary monuments are on display across the city. Eyewitness News reporter Victoria Whittle joins us now from Washington Square to show you more about the Monument Lab project. So what is a monument, Tori? Yes, and you know, I'm actually sitting on one of the projects. This is called On the Threshold, and these are salvage stoops from demolition projects in Philadelphia, and they're here to inspire people to think about their stoop stories. And that's what's so cool about this new program that Mural Arts is putting on, because it's giving all of us an opportunity to talk about things that we've experienced in Philadelphia and the history of Philadelphia. And guess what? They're giving you a chance to raise your own monuments with maybe anything you're thinking of. Take a look. In the misty rain, art was alive at City Hall, where a bright future for Philly's art scene was unveiled by Mural Arts Philadelphia. It's called Monument Lab. Monument Lab, what is it? It is a public art and public history project produced by Mural Arts Philadelphia and invites people to join a citywide conversation about history, about memory, and about our collective future. It's nine weeks where 20 artists are turning our city into what Mural Arts founder Jane Golden calls a museum of art, giving even we the people access to contribute at research labs placed all over the city, where you can learn about the art you see and suggest the art you want to see. At the labs, people will be engaged in conversation and asked to propose their own ideas for monuments that represent Philadelphia. Mel Chin, the artist responsible for the massive, easily accessible and identical seven foot tall pedestals in the courtyard of City Hall, wants you to become a monument yourself. This is for you or for me. In his piece titled To Me. The thing about this piece is it's founded after the idea that was promoted here in Philadelphia, like the Declaration of Independence. It is the rights of an individual, and so we know that. But there's an irony. In the same breath as they writing one, they create a, the other incredibly monumental document called the Constitution that begins with we the people. It's a moment you ascend to that height to be yourself. But when you come down, you might meet the other one, other person, and become the we that we dream of, that we should go for. It's really incredible, in particular, at those monuments uh, that Mel Chin had created. Everyone was so excited to get on top and take their picture, and it was really a way where Philadelphia, at that moment in time, all just came together to celebrate art and to talk about it and talk about what it meant to them. So if you have an idea, visit one of those monument labs, and you'll see something like this. They'll have sheets of paper inside where you can write down your idea and then illustrate what you want the monument to look like. So it's really powerful and all of these are temporary so they'll only be out until mid-November. But Yuki and Jessica, I was inspired myself. I had so many ideas and when you think about it, you're like, wow, like it kind of makes you feel like I could do that. Like sure. I could raise something like that. It, it was really cool. Very right? cool what and very powerful, like yeah. you said, indeed. Thanks, Tori. Appreciate it.